Well, I originally got involved uh, with Acura because of uh, a study that I was um, asked to do where we were uh, looking at the accuracy of Acura relative to uh, other ultrasound devices um, and comparing that to actual loss resistance and efficacy of anesthesia. Yeah, so what we found is that um, both uh, Acura device and the console ultrasound device were uh, very accurate at predicting when you would get loss of resistance uh, when doing an epidural. And we found minimal differences between the larger, uh, less portable devices, ultrasound devices, compared to Acura. And also we found that it accurately predicted uh, success, um, uh, subsequent success of epidural analgesia. Broadly, we found uh, ultrasound for neuroaxial procedures helpful in patients we anticipate difficult blocks. So these could be patients who are um, obese or patients with difficult palpation. We also utilize it in patients with difficult spine anatomy, either previous surgery or known scoliosis. It can be useful as a teaching tool to new residents uh, to get them to understand some of the anatomy with neuroaxial placements. Unlike a, a lot of other ultrasound techniques like um, point of care ultrasound for cardiac assessments, uh, neuroaxial ultrasound is a relatively easy technique to learn. Um, where Acura is beneficial is that you have a handheld device which is easy to take into a room. Uh, it also automatically measures distance as opposed to having to apply measurement uh, metrics. Um, it does come with a, a 3D navigator uh, which you can use to try and work out how you have to move the ultrasound to optimize the position. Uh, what I like particularly about uh, Acura compared to other ultrasound probes is it has the ability to mark the space uh, uh, with a plastic uh, device that slides off the probe and then indents the skin. Uh, most ultrasound devices don't have that. Acura provides an option for an easy uh, to use handheld device uh, which compares um, as well to more sophisticated ultrasound devices um, in most patients. Thank you.